The singer, 71, kicked off the Diana, Princess of Wales lecture on HIV by paying tribute to the people's princess. Speaking in front of an audience of politicians, health workers, celebrities and people living with HIV on Friday, he recounted one of the many powerful acts of kindness delivered by the princess that made history. Referring to Diana's famous handshake with a man with AIDS, he said, It is especially moving for me to deliver this lecture in honor of my friend Diana, Princess of Wales, I want to pay tribute to her great qualities, I want to pay tribute to her great qualities. Diana acted at a time when HIV was a death sentence or Elton John, Diana acted at a time when HIV was a death sentence, one simple handshake, one gesture showed the world the need for humanity for those living with HIV, AIDS, Diana's gesture came at a time of stigma for AIDS and helped changing attitudes toward the disease. The historic handshake challenged the idea that the virus could be passed on simply by touch. Getty Diana was honored by her friend Sir Elton John for her historic gesture towards a man with AIDS. Getty Diana exchanged the historic handshake in 1987. It was exchanged in April 1987, when Princess Diana opened the UK's first purpose-built HIV and AIDS unit that exclusively cared for patients infected with the virus, at London Middlesex Hospital. Following the touching tribute, Sir Elton went on with the lecture, setting out a vision for an AIDS-free future which included a call on the end to deliver its promised sustainable development goal to end AIDS by 2030, a plan aiming at eradicating the virus in less than two decades. The lecture was launched by Nat National AIDS Trust in 1999 as a living tribute to Princess Diana two years after her tragic death. Deborah Gold, chief executive of NAT, said, It's an honor to have Sir Elton John deliver our Diana, Princess of Wales lecture on HIV. Getty Sir Elton John kicked off his lecture on how to tackle HIV and AIDS with a tribute to Diana. In our 30th year, it is particularly timely to focus on the challenges ahead in the fight against HIV, as well as paying tribute to the lasting impact of Princess Diana's work. Anne Aslett, executive director of Elton. John AIDS Foundation, which worked in partnership with NET this year, said, The Elton John AIDS Foundation has been a supporter of the National AIDS Trust from its inception. We share a commitment to ending AIDS in the UK and around the world. Today, we are at a critical inflection point where we can commit to consigning this disease to history, or we will blight another generation with death and loss. Sir Elton follows in the footsteps of Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations, and ex-US President Bill Clinton, who delivered previous lectures in meters and Diana's memory in, respectively. 1999 and 2001